running for the 49th district state representative seat before we went to our commercial break we were speaking about education and the dropout rates within the city and in the state and you were talking about the flint journal and how no one seems to really care what are some of your uh, what is part of your campaign flat platform that addresses education? What would you do to prevent or to subside some of the dropout? Well, people have to be actually interested in education. Um, most of us are uh, not really interested in, in education. Uh, our children and the dropout rate shows it. They uh, education for what? I'll be a basketball player. I'll be a rapper, you know. But uh, Flint, Michigan, has really shown me and given me an opportunity to excel, because my college professors, oh man, they were the greatest, and it was because I had an interest myself in gaining that information. Whereas, you know, it's like, for some reason, it's it's education is sort of a turnoff for some. Okay. Just on the education aspect, this the state has actually had a problem with their budget. Therefore they're cutting funding for college. Tuition is on the rise. If you're state representative, what would you propose or what legislation would you propose to kind of subside that increase in tuition? Well, we could, uh, as far as the state budget and the local budget and the federal budget, we could cut some of these offices that are unnecessary. Lieutenant Governor, I'm sure he's making a big wad. Let's cut his, let's cut his uh, salary and let's put it over in education. The mayor, he's making, he's, he's supposed to make a big wad, and I've proposed to eliminate his office, uh, and we, we could, we could do this. We could actually do this, eliminate that office, and put that revenue back in education. So are you saying eliminate the revenue for all mayors in the state? The, the, I'm sorry, eliminate the salaries for all the mayors in the state? I can only speak for this one. And uh, with regard to this mayor, uh, I don't know how much I should say about this guy, but uh, we could, and it's not really a personal thing against the mayor. We can eliminate that office. I mean, he's done a good job in the sense that he's paying, he's taking a dollar from us and we're getting a dollar's worth of, of service, uh, that type of thing. So since he's taking a dollar, let's give him the dollar and close the office. And I think he should support it. So you feel that the city should, this city should not run with a mayor, the office, even without the current mayor, do you think that the office of mayor is not important to the city? I think that uh, we have nine council members. Each council member are a part, of, are responsible for uh, the nine wards in Flint, Michigan. They can represent us. And as far as executive matters, uh, we have the governor, uh, or we could have a city manager. Okay. So you're thinking more of a, an office that has a city manager opposed to a mayor. A, a, yes, a, a yes. legislative structure in that respect. Okay. Well, I, I, I can understand that. Now, if you don't win the state rep seat, what other plans do you have in politics? I don't know. I just, I'll just continue to go higher. Like when I ran for mayor and I, I didn't get that, uh, I had to go to the state representative seat. And if I don't go to the state representative seat, It'll be a while before the governor's office is open. It'll be a while before the next president, Barack, will be in there for at least two terms. Uh, I'll set myself up for those goals because I believe in reaching, reaching for the stars, reaching for the moon. Uh, and I don't believe in putting limitations on myself. So, you know, if I don't win, I'll probably write a book uh, or get involved with some other uh, political activity. Who are some of your supporters? Who are some of the people that you have that believe that you're the correct candidate for this office? I don't know. They're ju they're just waiting on the sidelines. I put I filled out uh, I don't know how many potential endorsements. You know they send you these things in the mail. We want to endorse you. Fill this questionnaire out. Fill the questionnaire out. And I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right to Life has written me back. They are not in support of me. Not because I'm uh, pro life, but 
uh, whatever their reasons are. Mm -hmm. But I am uh, pro-life. I believe that life begins at conception. And I believe with regard to pro-choice, people have the choice uh, whether or not to open up their legs or not, or to uh, strap one on or not, to put it mildly. <laughs> yeah. Well, with that said, what advice would you have for someone who's running for a political office? If you see some a young, a young person up and coming, what advice would you give them if they decide to run for public office? To get in it, start somewhere. If you're, if you're not in it, you can't win it. So the fact that I'm on the ballot, that gives me an upper hand, but that's not the end of it. I have to continue to be out in the public, meeting the people, and many people have told me. They say, um, well, we like the fact that you actually came to our door and, and presented yourself as opposed to letting the machine do it. And going door to door, what do you hear the concerns are from your constituents? What are the problems that are plaguing people in the 49th district? Mm -hmm. People are busy. They're trying to pay their bills. They're trying to pay for this gas. It's $4 an hour. And while we're on the issue of gas, I believe that the federal government should do more to subsidize it. I know they're subsidizing it some, but the federal government, Amer the American government is the most powerful government on the nation. You mean to tell me that they can't cut the gas prices in half? They could cut the gas prices in half. So the major issues in the 49th district are paying the bills, getting the bills paid. Now, you know that the economy for Flint, state of Michigan, the country, is very bad. What would you propose if you're elected to kind of stimulate the economy here in the city and in the state? Well, in the state, at the city level, at the state level, at the federal level, we need the old ways don't work. So what we need to do is invest in the people. And I think George Bush, to, uh, to an extent, tried to do that with the stimulus packet. He's gonna give six, six people $600 to uh, help them out. Well, we need a little more than $600 because there are talented individuals out here, people with ideas that need to be brought into contact with the people with the money, the funding, to actually fund these ideas. And uh, that's what I'd like to do. Put the people with the money and the people with the ideas together. And that, that's the way we can bring about a new economy. Okay. Um, do you have any fundraisers, um, any events that are coming up that you would want to let the viewers know about? Well, tonight I'll be speaking at the uh, Clayton Township board meeting. Um, <clears throat> I have a meeting with the concerned pastors uh, Vernon Chapel, I'm sure that will be uh, publicized. Uh, and I also have a um, Genesee Chamber of Commerce meeting or debate that will be coming up as well at uh, Mott Community College. And I will be at the city council meetings uh, as much as I can. Okay, how many city council meetings have you attended this year? I don't know, countless. Oh, so are you, would you say you're at almost every meeting? 